Just one of the many fatal flaws we've experienced with the Canon Avalon Nano 3 is the 4R7 SMD power inductor that sits just in front of the USB-C power socket. The buildup of heat in this area, the paste used to secure this resistor to the PCB becomes brittle and the resistor can break contact with its two solder points. This is one of the reasons why so many people are owners of Avalon Nano 3s that are now dead with the display error message non-support adapter. We'll continue to run the remaining Nano 3s that we have until they all die. We we won't buy any more, even at the low price of $99. There were just too many build quality issues with the Avalon Nano 3. It always felt like an unfinished product that was released too early. The updated Nano 3S looks a much better product with the much needed improvements to the power supply and Wi-Fi antenna. Also an increase of 50% in hashing power to 6 terahash at just at 140 watts, which is really nice. But at $249, we'll wait seven months or so to see what the feedback is on reliability. For now, I think we'll stick with Bitax Gammas, which are so much more fun for our solo mining Bitcoin adventures.